Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. The hearing now resumes, and uh, I would like to present. Uh, I would like to acknowledge the presence of uh, the Senate President, Senator uh, Soto, and. Uh, Thank you everyone for attending uh, into this hearing. So this hearing is a continuation of the hearing on the seven bills under consideration pertaining to PDEA bills and the uh, Drug Rehabilitation Center bills, which were set for hearing last 26 September 2019 for orderly procedure. But anyway, unahin natin hanggang dito while available si Senate President. We just would like to uh, yield the floor to the author of uh, Senate Bill uh, <coughs> Number Three, an Act uh, amending Article Eleven of Republic Act Nine One Six Five. Sir, your Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much also for uh, calling this hearing. I know there are a number of bills that are pending in your uh, agenda, but uh, thank you for um, uh, giving me the chance to be able to enlighten uh, some of our resource persons on the on my proposal, uh, Senate Bill Number Three, uh, which you heard the last time no, during the last hearing. So good morning to our guests, our resource persons. Uh, thank you very much for coming. Uh, um, I went over the the uh, transcript of your hearing last time, and I noticed that, that uh, there were points that were brought out by the D D Dangerous Drugs Board and the Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency that do not sit well with Senate Bill Number 3. Uh, I was thinking that perhaps uh, they did not uh, really get the intention of the bill. And so thank you for coming over this morning because I would like to uh, uh, enlighten you on the, what we want to do with this, with this uh, uh, creation of a Presidential Drug Enforcement Authority. Um, let me first lay out the predicate. Uh, in 1992, when I first became senator, I had a very successful run as chairman of the Quezon City Anti-Drug Abuse Council as vice, chair, a vice mayor. We had four or five major concerns that we attacked through four committees. And we were very successful. You can check the records of NARCOM and the DDB during that time under Director Supnet. Uh, the Quezon City shared 54% of the total drug problem in the entire Quezon City, in the entire Metro Manila. When I left as Vice Mayor and I ran for the Senate in two, 1992, it was down to 9%, from 54% to 9% with this formula. Now, that is the reason that when I came to the Senate, I introduced the creation of the, the Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency. It was originally, again, Presidential Drug Enforcement Agency. When I proposed it, it was Senator Barber who wanted me to name it Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency instead, okay? Um, because he did not want to clip the wings of the Philippine National Police, being a policeman. But during that time, when I wanted to create the PIDEA, it was to supervise and control the entire anti-narcotics units of everything in the entire Philippines, pretty much what we did, like what we did in Quezon City. We concentrated on enforcement, prosecution, chief, um, chief prosecutor, Arestain, Pepe Arestain gave me the dirty dozen 12 prosecutors all concentrated on, on drug cases, you know, all under the Quezon City Anti-Drug Abuse Council. And then the prevention program, we uh, created a, an entire prevention program using the school board 
for the entire Quezon City, and then rehabilitation. I put up the first rehabilitation center owned by a local government unit in Quezon City, which is uh, up to now is running the Tahanan. And, uh, with that formula, it was from 54% to 9%. So when I came to the Senate, I wanted to create that nationwide. All right? Now, <clears throat> Pinagbigyan namin yung mga ibang iniisip ng iba, sinama namin, ganito, ayaw maklip yung wings ng police, okay. Uh, hindi ni analyze yung narcotics units ng, ng NBI, ganyan, ganyan. But we want, and I upgraded the DDB from a small bureau in the Department of Health into an entire, uh, entirely different uh, uh, entity or institution, which is the Dangerous Drugs Board now. TPDEA is the enforcement arm of the Dangerous Drugs Board. That was the, the, uh, the, intent, the, the content of 9165. What we want to do now, because when I was DDB chairman in 2008, what happened was, hindi maganda ang, hindi maganda takbo. Wala kaming binat, for example, TPDEA, uh, in charge of enforcement. At saka sino pa? PNP. Di ba? Meron pa NBI. Ang tanong, coordinated ba kayo? Kuminsan. Nag-aaway pa nga kayo eh. Di ba? Oo. Oh. Oh, ngayon, uh, prosecution. Sino in charge? DOJ. Kakasundo ba kayo? Hindi rin. Ang sabi sa akin ng mga prosecutor, sinisita ko nung nakalaang administrasyon, even up to now, bakit 80% dismissal ng drug cases? Ang sagot sa akin, eh yung mga agent nyo, Senator, at saka yung mga pulis ninyo, hindi marunong mag-file ng kaso. Ayun ang sagot sa akin eh. Pag tinanong mo yung mga agent, at saka yung mga, ang dami kong tauhan dyan sa PDA eh, na hanggang ngayon nandiyan dyan eh. Pag tinanong mo, at tinanong mo yung mga PNP, ang sagot sa akin, no, hindi sir, yung mga prosecutor nyo nasusuhulan. Yeah, so, so, so what is the reason why I want a prosecution arm under the PDEA? Para coordinated na. So the Presidential Drug Enforcement Authority will have a Bureau of Enforcement Siya lahat ng supervision control over police, PNP, uh, PNP NBI, at yung PIDEA Academy. Na hopefully, I hope that the Philippine, the, the, the PIDEA Academy, ang dapat mga nakaupo sa mga regional heads ngayon itong mga ng PIDEA ngayon. Ganon dapat eh. That, was the inten that is the intention and this is the intention of the bill. O ngayon, ano ang, uh, sino in charge ng prevention? Meron, meron prevention program ang PIDEA, meron prevention program ang DDB, pero is it successful? Eh, ang, ang dapat in charge niyan, DepEd. At sino in charge ngayon niyan? DepEd, Drug Abuse Resistance Education Program, o kaya yung inyong READY. Ano ba yung READY? Uh, it's a uh, uh, resistance education something, you know, ng, uh, ng kanila. Tanong, coordinated ba kayo sa DepEd? Hindi. Hanggang ngayon nga, grade 5, grade 6, walang drug abuse resistance education program eh. Dapat yun nationwide. So we want a, a bureau under DPDEA in charge of prevention for the entire country. They supervise the prevention program. Seminars, workshops, um, drug abuse resistance education program for, for students, you know, parents' power versus drug abuse programs, pro, uh, prevention programs also for, for the new 13 years old, para pagtungtung ng 13 years old, hindi na siya curious sa droga dahil alam na niya na masama ito. And then we go to rehabilitation, Mr. Chairman. Who's in charge of rehabilitation? DOH. Ang dami nyo ngang uh, rehabilitation center, hindi pa accredited ng DOH eh. Even up to now. Then we, so we want a rehabilitation bureau under the PDEA. Na kumpleto. Now, 
uh, pati yung alternative development program like what pretty much what we did in 2008 lahat ng mga lahat ng mga tinanggal namin plantation or sinira namin plantation ng mga marijuana pinalitan namin ng sericulture which is a silk production program in Cebu we uh, we replaced it with abaca production yung sa ano ba yung sa pinag malamban pinag uh, pinag uh, gigiba namin plantation doon so the alternative de development program should be also under so what we have here eh, eh, tapat nga may international cooperation pay na bureau so bali may anim ka may anim na bureau under the presidential drug enforcement authority they are the board They be, in this proposal, in my bill, they become the dangerous drugs board. The, it will, shall be called the Presidential Drug Enforcement Authority. This, the, the, the PDEA head should be cabinet rank secretary, and then you sec yung anim. You do not see the spectacle of what's happening with DDB right now, and what's happening with 17 members. In the law, it says you must meet once a week. You say, Reyes, how many times did you meet this year? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Your Honor, around uh, six or seven. Six or seven times last year. If I recall correctly, Mr. Chair, about nine, ten. Masabi ng batas, 54 times eh. Once a week. Ano? Nung naupo ako as DDB chair, nakita kong mahirap dahil do sa quorum. Ang members kasi, imbis na yung bureau sinasabi ko, ang members halos walang kinalaman eh. Department of Trade, D Department of Labor, DFA, DND, uh, Department of Health, DepEd, uh, Finance, tapos ang dami pang mga appointed ng presidente na ang totoo niyan, and I have to admit it, when I was crafting and I was proposing the 9165, of which I'm the principal author of, hindi yun ang intention talaga. Eh, siyempre, yung mga kasama kong mga senador, ni eh, kailangan tanggapin ko yung mga proposal nila. At yung gusto nila, isama yun din. Dapat ang i-charge sa ganito, ganito. Sa ganito. Kaya dumami yun. Labing pito. So, after my two years in the DDB, I saw na ito ang solusyon eh. Ito pong nakikita natin doon. It might not be perfect at this time. We will be able to, to um, listen to your proposed amendments. But definitely, like the concerned air by PDEA, na it might be the demise at mawawala ng trabaho yung mga ahente, hindi pa pwede yun. The, the PDEA was my brainchild. I will not see the demise of this agency. As a matter of fact, I will upgrade it. Uh, this is the proposal. Palalakasin nga natin ito eh. Oh, the PDEA agents right now, the salary grade is what? 11? Salary grade 11? Oh, ang proposal ko nga, 16, ang pinakamababa dapat eh. Di ba? And then, supervision and control over all the anti-narcotics units of the entire Philippines. Yun yung sinasabi natin dito. So, um, some of these intentions that we want or the suggestions that they have might not be uh, elaborate in the bill, but this is a bill. This is a draft. We can accept your proposals. We can accept your uh, proposed amendments to, to make it better. But the intention, I assure you, will give us a fighting chance against illegal drugs. Not like what's happening now. So, kung gusto nyo, kung masaya na kayo, Sa nangyayari ngayon, sa tingin nyo, successful na tayo at hindi natin ma-achieve yung drug-free or drug-resistant Philippines. Eh, basura. Ibasura na natin itong bill na to. Uh, pretty much like what you think it should be. Uh, at hayaan na natin, ganyan na lang kayo. Eh, halos hindi makapag-meet ng Dangerous Drugs Board. Tuwing mauupo ang PDEA at saka Dangerous Drugs Board, ang tingin ng PDEA, mas mataas sila sa PDB. O, di ba? Ganun nangyayari kahit anong panahon ko eh. Kaya kami nagkaroon ng problema nila, nila, nila Magalong at saka nila Santiago eh. Di ba? Alam niyo yun eh. Oh. Eh, ito, solusyon to na nakita natin doon. 
ang mga katulong kong nag-isip nito, hindi basta-basta mga kusino lang. Veterano sa PIDEA. Soljen, Joe Kalida. Remember, Yusek Reyes? Joe Kalida, ang kasama ko dito. Yusek Galbante, General Galbante. Yun ang executive director nung araw. Eh, yun mga kasama ko nung binuo namin to, itong programa to, na pinag-aralan ko ng napakatagal na panahon, ito ang solusyon. And whole supply reduction strategy program and a very enhanced demand reduction strategy program, Mr. Chairman, embodied in this Senate Bill No. 3. Kung may mga kakulangan, kung hindi malinaw, then please uh, feel free to submit to us your proposal on how to make this stronger and better for you. No one will be dissolved. You will all be absorbed and upgraded. That is one thing that we will assure you in this proposal. Mr. Chairman, I hope I'm clear. I will, not, uh, I will no longer ask them for their uh, uh, mga, uh, mga ta, mga mga hindi nagagawang mga bagay na gusto ko sanang pagtatanungin pero wag na uh, pag-usapan nyo na naman yung budget nila. I hope I'm able to deliver my piece on this. So, thank you Mr. Chairman for giving me this opportunity. Thank you Senate President Sir. Uh, just one question Sir. Yung yung pinaka bone of contention ng uh, uh, seemingly uh, opposition ng uh, PDA is yung ang dissolusyon ng PDA dahil according to the bill, yung itong uh, Anti-Drug Enforcement Bureau kung hindi natin uh, i-dissolve yung PDA they will remain as is pero parang sinabi dito is mga nar uh, narcotic units, yung operating units are only from the PNP, NBI, AAP and BOC so saan na sila ngayon natin ilalagay sir? They will evolve into the the entire enforcement bureau. Yeah, ang kasi ang original talaga intention sa ano namin ng PDA ano araw, ano at um, pwede natin pag-usapan kung anong paano mas mapapalinaw yung gusto ko mangyari. Uh, USDA, anong success rate ng USDA even in the Philippines? Successful. Dito sa Pilipinas. O ngayon, anong, ilan sila dito sa Pilipinas? Dalawa lang. Dalawa lang, nagko-coordinate. Ang thinking namin nung araw, yung PIDEA, kaya nga yung PIDEA Academy, ginawa natin, they will be supervising and controlling all narcotics units, anti-narcotics units. Hindi pretty much what happened a few years ago na naging separate army. <laughs> naging separate <laughs> Naging sundalo eh. Naging pulis eh. Hindi ganun yung gusto natin sa PIDEA. Ang gusto natin sa PIDEA, pareho ng USDA. They call the shots for NBI, for PNP, for ano. Sila ang nagko-control. Sila ang nagsusupervise. Ano, the only time they use their own unit is if the area is compromised. Papalagay mo, may re -re din sa, sa Paranaque eh. At yung unsuspecha ng, nung, uh, ng PDEA, eh, yung titirahin sa Paranaque, eh, may patong na mataas na pulis. At gagamitin yung sarili. Tsaka gagamitin yung sarili. Pero kung hindi, PDEA calls the meeting, siya ang mag, uh, magsasabi kung ano ang gagawin doon. Ganun eh. So, we, we, uh, perhaps we can amend that to clarify, to clarify that uh, particular uh, uh, portion, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Are, are you going to entertain some? Yeah, oh, sir, from the... Pit? Please, we take the, the opportunity na dito si Senate President. Good morning, Your Honor. Doctor. Uh, for PDEA, sir, uh, we have already submitted our position paper. Uh, it's naka-indicate naman, sir, doon yung uh, aming... Uh, we, we, we are proposing not, not to, for the dissolution of uh, PDEA and DDB. It's summarized there, sir, and uh, I don't have to take it one by one. And uh, of course, sir, I respect your, your intention for, 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 for so that uh, uh, our uh, campaign against illegal drugs would be better off. 
And again, sir, I would just uh, like to correct something that uh, we don't have any animosity with the Dangerous Drugs Board. We are working together, uh, hand in hand. All policy that is being taken up by uh, DDB is being implemented by us. And uh, I think uh, you can even ask the Dangerous Drugs Board uh, hierarchy. Uh, if you are uh, not working with each other, uh, in fact, sir, uh, talagang na-harmonize yung aming efforts with Dangerous Drugs Board. And uh, this is the best time, actually, sir, uh, nagkaroon ng uh, good relationship ang Dangerous Drugs Board and uh, ang PIDEA. And uh, I think that's uh, the only thing uh, that I would like to, to convey to you, Your Honor, sir. Well, perhaps during your watch, what happens when you retire? If it's not institutionalized. At saka ang nangyayari, you are the enforcement arm. Now, I'm not talking about you, uh, uh, General Aquino. No? I'm talking about the, the, the head of uh, PIDEA as, uh, as an image. Uh, you are the enforcement arm of the DDB. Paano pag uh, ang naupo sa Dangerous Drugs Board ay hindi pareho ng pananaw mo? Diba? Kaya kailangan linawi natin yun. At kailangan um, unwieldy. The board is unwieldy. You have to admit that. You do not meet regularly. Wala raw quorum. Yung composition ng board is too much. You know that. You said, yes, you were uh, with us when we were discussing this. Diba? Oh, and then there were, I think, two members of the DDB who came to see me some time ago, reminding me of the problems that they are encountering. So that's the reason. Eh, sana. So anyway, we will look into your uh, position paper. And I assure you, you will not be dissolved. You will be upgraded. Uh, yan ang makakasa kayo. At saka yung mabibigyan ng pagkakataon talaga na papalakas yung, yung drug and yung PIDEA Academy. Uh, how many of your academy age, uh, graduates, um, may I ask, uh, Director General Aquino, how many of your academy uh, graduates are in the regions now? In the regional offices of... Uh, Sir, the, the total the uh, agents we have is 1,950. I, I assume position uh, in 2017, uh, there are only 920 agents. Uh, performing their, their tasks uh, nationwide. Yeah, but, but graduates, academy graduates, drug enforcement academy graduates, uh, who are, who are they manning the regional offices? Yes, sir. So, may, uh, may like for example, who is manning Region 7? See, uh, Wardley, sir, uh, Director Wardley uh, Getalia, sir, I'm sorry. Uh, is he an academy graduate? Yes, sir. The yes, sir. PIDEA? Yes, sir. All right. Yes. He's a graduate of the academy, sir. Oo. Yun ang gusto natin, kaya natin create yung academy. Ang gusto natin, nakakainti, ang mga tum nag heads ng mga different regions ay nanggaling sa academy, sapagkat doon ay pinalaki sila na nakatuon lang talaga, nakafocus lang talaga sa problema ng illegal drugs at walang ibang uh, uh, issue na tinatalakay. Uh, sir, uh, and, and to add to your point, sir, uh, Sabi nga, what if uh, iba na naman ang PDA director? What if iba na naman ang presidente? Oh. Kung hindi uh, ma-implace itong ganito kasulid na foundation, ma-institutionalize, pag iba na naman ang presidente, iba yung approach, so back to zero na naman. So I think uh, this has to be considered natin seriously. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you for that uh, clarification. Mr. Chair, if I may. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Uh, we have the utmost respect to our former chairman of the board and uh, he's, he's really aware of the problems of the board, uh, Mr. Chairman. No? But just to attest to the uh, uh, statement of uh, General Aquino, the cooperation between the DB and PDA has been uh, very uh, smooth, uh, especially after the uh, uh, signing of the uh, uh, e of EO66, uh, Mr. Chair, by the President. Um, institutionalizing the Philippine anti-illegal drug strategy. Um, right now, uh, Mr. Chair, as uh, we have mentioned in the previous uh, hearing, 
we believe that the uh, proposal of the good Senate president is the ideal. Uh, however, uh, it, may, it may hamper the uh, momentum of the uh, campaign. Uh, ex existing mechanisms are now in place. Uh, dati, uh, Your Honor, wala po yung uh, tinatawag nating interagency, yung ICAD committee, so, who, who's uh, in charge of uh, supervising the various uh, 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 concerns, uh, Mr. Chair, no? yung nabanggit ni Senate President. Meron po yung treatment and rehab dyan, may advocacy, uh, may enforcement uh, committee. And so, I, I, I agree, Mr. Chair, ang cooperation po ngayon, very smooth, uh, sir, uh, compared dun sa time natin, sir. No? And uh, we feel, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, for now, maybe we could strengthen yung existing institution, sir. If, if for example, sir, the, the problem of the board, which you know very well, sir, is yung quorum talaga, sir. Eh. Talagang hindi maka, makakuha, hirap na hirap. Uh, we have suggested, Mr. Chair, that maybe we can amend the provisions of the law to allow, uh, instead of an undersecretary representing the board uh, uh, agency member, maybe lower it to a rank of an assistant secretary so that uh, we can easily attain a quorum, Mr. Chair, or even a, a director head, a director four. Uh, that, that's one suggestion, Mr. Chair. But again, Mr. Chair, as, as I mentioned last uh, meeting, we submit to the wisdom of uh, the Senate. Thank you. Anyway, naman yung sasabi natin na uh, momentum, sometimes we have to step back one step in order to gain 10 steps uh, forward, di ba? To stay step back. Pero anyway, consider natin yan. Yung di, uh, Department of Justice, meron na ba? Kasi ito rin yung malaking uh, kuwan sa about prosecution. Uh, na narinig mo yung explanation ni Senate President kanina? O late ka? Na narinig mo? Say please, uh, your reaction. Um, with respect to these bills, um, I'm sorry, Mr. Chair, the DOJ has no objection to the proposed bill in creating PR DEA or however it is called now. However, um, the department has some reservation regarding Section 7 of the proposed bill, which provides that the Anti-Drug Prosecution Bureau shall be responsible for the supervision of the Department of Justice. Um, it further reads, to ensure that its duties prescribed under RA 9165 relative to the prosecution or filing of illegal drug cases are properly and efficiently executed. To the mind of my superiors in the DOJ, this runs contrary to RA 10071, considering that prosecutions of criminal actions is definitely reserved to the Department of Justice. There are some provisions in the proposed bill to which the DOJ has some reservations also. With respect to this phrase, Anti-Drug Prosecution Bureau shall have supervisory power over the Department of Justice. Well, well uh, that, that was already taken care of last uh, uh, hearing. Yung nga, i-harmonize lang natin yung wordings niya dahil uh, very yes. kuwan nga yung bureau ay eh, magsusupervise ng department, di ba? It's a very uh, uh, in the principles yes. of organization uh, and management is uh, very contradicting. Yes. Eh, i-harmonize yes. natin yan. Na-take note natin yan. Thank you. Please continue. Mr. Chairman, yeah, before, yes, before sir, he sir. continues, if you don't mind. Um, the, the, the word supervision, I think, um, is, is, it's clear, no? Ibig sabihin nung minomonitor lang, or sino supervise. If you want, the, want a better word, we can find. When we, when we say the DOJ there, it means the, uh, the, the assigned prosecutors in the bureau. Uh, perhaps, um, yun ang pwede natin linawin, katulad ng nasabi mo, no? Linawin natin po. Noted, sir, noted, sir. Because, and then, uh, naintindihan ko yung sinisabi nila eh. Siyempre, ang 
DOJ, <clears throat> ayaw nilang isusupervise sila eh. Pero hindi naman pwedeng, hindi pwede kayong bantayan. Hindi ba? Kaya nga, hindi nga yes, kayo Mr. nagkikita eh. Hindi kayo nagtatagpo eh. Madalas yan eh. Ilang cases na yan eh. So, again, how many drug cases did you uh, uh, did you have in the last year, 2018? Um, I do not have the exact figures, Your Honor. How the many, NPS how many convictions? The, how many convictions? Um, how many again, dismissals? Mr. Senate President, yes. I belong to the other department within the DOJ. I do not belong to the NPS. I belong to the Office of the Legal Staff, Office of the Chief State Counsel, Your Honor. So if um, this committee is interested on those figures. I can get it from the NPS, Your Honor. It's from all the right. National Prosecution It's all right. I know the figures. Kaya ako yes, Your Honor. In, uh, in the last administration, you only had 15%. 85% is misal. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, 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 sa 15%, meron pa nga doon ano eh. Meron pa doon um, for further investigation. At least, tumaas na kasi sa konti, siguro. 15 uh -huh. noon, below. Eh, iyak, ng, iyak yung mga pideya at saka mga polis eh, tungkol dun eh. Pero pagka tinanong mo nga ang DOJ, ang sagot, eh, hindi naman sila marunong mag-file ng kaso eh. Binabanggil nila ebidensya. O, oh, di ba, natataba ka, Tony. Eh. Di ba, dahil yun ang sinasabi nyo eh. Binabanggil nila ebidensya eh. Pipresenta sa amin, ganito. Tapos, pag may hearing, hindi a-attend. Uh, Ah, sabi ng polis, hindi, nasusuhulan sila. Oh, nasusuhulan daw yung prosecutor. That's the reason that we're trying to find a, a way na magkasundo kayo na, na nakamonitor ang mga, ang mga prosecutors nyo, ia-assign exclusively for drug cases. Yun yung gusto natin dito, exclusively assigned to PIDEA for drug cases. Yun ang gusto sana natin dito sa batas na to. At kung hindi malinaw yan, linawin natin when the Senator De La Rosa prepares the committee report. Yes, sir. At saka, wala na talagang uh, elbow room for uh, finger pointing kung bakit lumala ang problema ng droga pag meron na itong presidential uh, uh, authority. authority na ito. Yun na lang mismo ang bitayin yung presidential authority Chairman, o sino maghihid ito, Sekretary, kung hindi ba masulbad ang problema ng droga? Dahil lang dyan na, may prosecutorial powers na siya. Kompleto na lahat, yung limang bureau na yan. That's enough arm for him to, to, to cross everything. Siguro, uh, I fully subscribe with your idea, Senate President, sir. Any more? Comment? Anyway, humayin natin ito, yung may mga position paper man kayo. Lahat ng mga agam-agam ninyo, ayusin natin para hindi tayo, hindi kamas-kamas yung ating uh, bill na ipapasa. <coughs> thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, and, uh, I, I'm glad that um, Senator Larson and I were, uh, were correct in uh, nominating you and voting you as chairman of the Committee on Public Order and Illegal Drugs. <laughs> uh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank because you. We, we, we know that you understand the problem. Uh, so, uh, kung sakali man, meron pa tayong mga ibang mga bagay na gustong uh, idagdag, uh, feel free to submit to us any proposal. Kami naman, we will try to, to, to help the chairman in preparing some of the amendments, but we will submit to your uh, to you and your um, uh, office uh, the we will submit to your decision and discretion uh, basta tang aking parting word sinasabi ko gusto ko kayong palakasin gusto ko yung i-upgrade hindi the momentum will not be lost what will happen is we will give you a bit better momentum a stronger momentum that is what we're going to give you Hindi natin pipigilin ang kahit anong ginagawa sa ngayon, kundi dadagdagan lang natin ang puwersa ninyo. Yun ang gusto namin gawin dito sa, sa batas na ito. Um, so, um, with that, Mr. Chair, uh, ako naman eh, lilipat doon sa kabilang hearing at uh, may problema na naman doon. <laughs> Thank you for that <laughs> clarification, sir. At, uh, sa NBP. Yes, sir. Thank you, you, sir. The Senate President is uh, excused.
Thank you, sir. Thank you. Um, tuloy lang tayo. Ano, kung meron pa kayo. Anyway, nandun naman yung position paper nyo, di ba? And uh, I, I, I presume lahat tayo dito ay lilipat rin doon sa kabila dahil mas mainit yung bakbakan doon sa kabila. <laughs> Kaya, for the meantime, ano, suspended natin o... Ah, John. Okay. Please, uh, Komsik, uh, you, you have the floor. Thank you, sir. Just for administrative matter, the uh, food will be served at 10 a.m. Please don't get out of the room. Just eat first and relax before going to the next hearing. Thank you very much. Gugutumin kayo sa kabila. Asa kaya ka pakinig doon. Kaya kain ko muna kayo dito. So... Huwag mo na kayo malungkot. Eh, sabi nga, eh, upgrade kayo eh. I-upgrade kayo. Hindi di-dissolve, sir. Hindi di-dissolve. Ha? Huh? Oh, eh, smile ka muna dyan. I-upgrade kayo. Gagawin kayo high-tech na, na mga uh, anti-drug technocrats. Ha? Huh? Hindi. <laughs> I-upgrade kayo. But anyway, walang dimini, di, kwan, diminution of powers ito. Uh, I-consider natin lahat para hindi kayo talaga ma-agrabyado. Ay, alam ko, alam ko naman yan. Ayusin natin yan lahat. Pati yung uh, prosecution, uh, i-harmonize natin. Uh, wala namang masamang intensyon yung author. Kundi na sa tagal niya nakikita itong problema, nakikita ito, iso, ito yung pinakasolusyon. So, with that, uh, thank you again for coming. Uh, so, magpapatawag ako ng other hearing, ibitahan ko kayo ulit. Pero, I think uh, this uh, meeting is already to be adjourned. Thank you. Don't ask me, Bila. <laughs>